To see the brainstem, we'll use this mid-sagittal view, which is as if we cut the brain down the middle and looked at its internal structure. This little guy might not look like much, but in actuality, your brainstem is essential to your survival, as it regulates our most basic functions to stay alive. It's also responsible for acting as a relay, or highway, for those sensory signals we saw earlier that are going up to the cerebrum, and motor signals heading down and out to the periphery. The brainstem is made up of three separate parts, which are the medulla oblongata, most inferiorly, the pons, which is this middle part of the brainstem that appears to be bulging out, and finally the midbrain, situated at the most superior aspect of the brainstem. Let's go ahead and look at each part in a little more detail. The medulla oblongata, or sometimes just referred to as the medulla, is the most inferior aspect of the brainstem and is immediately superior to the spinal cord. The medulla is responsible for regulating some of life's most basic functions, like breathing, dilating and constricting blood vessels, and swallowing. Next up, we have the pons, found immediately superior to the medulla. This part of the brainstem is appropriately derived from the Latin word for bridge as it spans the two halves of the cerebellum, which we'll look at in just a minute. It also plays a role in regulating your sleep cycle, so please limit your all-nighters and give your pond some rest. The third and final and most superior part of the brainstem is the midbrain. And it's here where integration of sensory input from the periphery and motor output from the cerebrum occurs. To put it simply, this is what tells you to move when there's a bus that's about to hit you. Next up we have the cerebellum. So many moons ago, an anatomist studied the cerebellum and thought this small ovoid mass of grey and white matter sort of looks like a little brain. And thus, the cerebellum got its name. You can find the cerebellum hiding behind, or posterior to the brainstem, which we just looked at, and the cerebellum helps maintain muscle tone, balance, and posture by sending out involuntary signals to your peripheral nervous system. This means that you have no conscious control over these signals and it happens automatically. The cerebellum also helps with fine voluntary coordinated movements, which you do have control over. And these movements will come in handy for looking at some deeper brain structures in our next section. If you found this quick anatomy video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.